Well, you know, the Cracker plant is expected to create thousands of construction jobs and hundreds of permanent jobs. Still, up to a thousand more jobs could be created if the steel were produced locally. Shell and its contractor, Bechtel, have not said where the steel will come from. But steel industry officials tell me they expect it to be made overseas, most likely in China. These steel beams are being fabricated at Latell Steel in New Brighton, Beaver County, for the new Little Caesars Pizza headquarters in Detroit. Latell has won awards for its work throughout the country. But Latell may not get to work on a huge project in its backyard. The massive multi-billion dollar cracker plant is being built just six miles away in Potter Township. It will use an estimated $100 million worth of steel. How much of a difference would that make for employment? Well, it could make a major difference. But company president Robert Thaw is not expecting much, if any, work to come from the cracker plant. Is that disappointing to you? That's a little disappointing. I also believe that what we do here and what the companies like us in this region can be pretty competitive. But Phil Rarig of the American Galvanizers Association says steel companies in western Pennsylvania will be lucky to get scraps at the cracker plant table. It is uh, almost a certainty that the steel will be sourced in China. So it will be manufactured there, it will be fabricated there, and galvanized in China. A Shell spokesman tells Action News Investigates the company has not yet decided where the steel will be produced. Bechtel, the contractor building the plant, declined to comment. But Rarig says Bechtel has used Chinese steel for other large industrial projects similar to the cracker plant. I fear for the Manaka project in Beaver County. Um, I fear that it's already too late for that. He says local steel could create an additional 500 to 1,000 jobs and add another $150 million to the local economy. It would also give a big boost to companies like Young Galvanizing in Pulaski, Lawrence County. The company galvanizes steel by dipping it into liquid zinc to give it a protective coating. But you expect the bulk of the actual plant yeah. itself is going to be fabricated and galvanized in China or absolutely. somewhere overseas. Yep, absolutely. Somehow it doesn't seem fair, that's for sure. You know, I'd say it, it would be better for us and for Americans, I suppose, to have the thing fabricated and galvanized in the United States. Even more disturbing to the local industry is the fact that Pennsylvania taxpayers are subsidizing Shell, an estimated $1.6 billion in tax incentives. If that's the case, then I'd say, well, where's, where's our part of it, you know? These guys are all paying their taxes. That's also a concern for State Auditor General Eugene DePasquale. We should require that if there's state tax dollars at work, it should be a minimum U.S. steel. If not, you know, try to make sure as much of it is done in Pennsylvania as possible. But when Pennsylvania approved tax subsidies for Shell, it did not require steel to be locally made. Local steel producers say they expect some work will come their way but they wish it could be more. To have it happen in your backyard right. and not be able to get that work? <laughs> it's frustrating, but it's, it's a reality of globalization, I think. A spokesman for the United Steel Workers tells me they also want domestic steel to be used at the cracker plant, and they are asking Shell about their plans. Industry officials tell me they are also hoping President Trump will take a hard line against Chinese steel. Hey,